I'm First Alert Storm Team Meteorologist A.J. Rickman. Tonight, temperatures are going to fall into the 40s across eastern Iowa for lows. Low to mid-40s in our northern zones, middle and upper 40s in our central and southern zones, and we are going to be watching that rain moving in through the night. By the time we get to the 11 o'clock hour, we're going to be seeing widespread rain working its way into the region, and that just stays with us as we go into the early morning hours of Sunday. And then as you wake up on Sunday morning, we're going to be seeing again a continuation of those showers and some embedded thunderstorms as well. That continues for much of the day on Sunday into the afternoon hours, but then we do get a little bit of a break in the activity as we go into Sunday evening and the first part of Sunday night before we will be watching for that next round of rain to start to move in late Sunday night and into early Monday morning. Now for tomorrow, our highs will be reaching the middle and upper 50s in our northern areas. Farther south you go, the warmer we are and our highs will be reaching the low to mid 60s in our central and southern zones. Now that rain does stay with us for several more days like we've been talking about. As we get into Monday afternoon, we get another surge of moisture that comes through Monday night and then into the start of the day on Tuesday before we do get a cold front that comes through during the day Tuesday. By the time we get to Tuesday evening, we're gonna be seeing a drying trend and that rain will be moving out. Now rainfall totals are still looking to be pretty significant from this series of disturbances that will be moving through. Widespread amounts of one to two inches are expected. We could see some locally higher amounts as well. So we will be seeing a wet several days. Now there will be some dry periods, but there's also going to be plenty of periods where you're seeing just dreary, wet, and rainy weather. Southerly winds on Sunday and Monday are going to be providing plenty of moist air for these showers and storms to feed on. That's why we're seeing so much rainfall. But then those winds will switch around to the west by the time we get to Tuesday as that front comes through and cools us off. As we get that moisture influx, we're also going to be seeing our temperatures rise a little bit as we get to that November 4th time frame, and then we'll see them fall back down to close to average, but still just a couple of degrees warmer than normal. Your nine day forecast does show all of these trends. We're gonna be wet for several days. Election day does look rainy, especially earlier in the day. And then we do dry out for the middle of next week before we do have another chance for some shower activity as we get into the end of next week and next weekend.